World of Wonder Guide 9 Detectable Actions How can we combine gameplay devices to create complete gameplay? Let's get familiar with detectable actions. Detectable actions are what allow multiple gameplay devices in World of Wonder to come together. Detectable actions are expressed in natural language, which makes the underlying logic more clear. By making use of detectable actions, creators can more clearly grasp how two devices are connected. Creators can better express their creativity without getting confused. Interface Display After placing down a gameplay device, tap the Edit icon to go into the parameters. On the right, there are separate tabs for detectable actions and performable actions. Detectable Actions tab Here, creators can set up how other gameplay devices will respond to the detectable actions of the current device. Performable Actions tab here, creators can set up how the current gameplay devices will respond to the detectable actions of other devices. Creators only need to set up these two parameters to link up any gameplay device. Specific example. Next, we'll use the spawn point device and item issuance device as an example. If a creator wants players to receive supplies after spawning, they can use detectable actions to make it happen. First, we need to place a spawn point device, an item issuance device. We also need to set up the items we want to give players in the item issuance device parameters. Next, we need to go into the spawn point devices parameters and tap the detectable actions tab. Here, we need to tap add next to when spawn player. Then, tap the item issuance device we placed earlier, then tap next. Finally, we need to select issue items as the action to perform. Tap add, then save. After setting that up, we can preview what will happen. When the spawn point device performs spawn player, then the item issuance device performs issue item. Alternatively, we can use the performable actions tab to set this up. After placing a spawn point device and item issuance device, we can open the item issuance device's parameters and go to the performable actions tab. Here, we need to tap add next to perform issue items. Then select the spawn point device, then tap next. Here we need to add spawn player as the action to detect, then save. When we tap to preview, we see that, just like earlier, the player receives supplies after spawning. Special tip! Different gameplay devices can interact using different actions. Some device actions are very simple, which makes them easy to link with other devices. But other actions can be quite comprehensive in what can be tweaked. This can let creators design gameplay in precisely the way they want. Please note, once two devices are linked, changing either the performable action or detectable action will update the link for both items. Likewise, if the link is deleted from either device, the link on the corresponding device will also be removed. These updates to gameplay devices allow creators to create more freely than ever. So, what are you waiting for? Try creating something now!